I'm going to show you how easy it is to programmically trigger a Segway in Xcode 6 for iOS 8 with Swift. Let's make a new project first. Okay, so once you've got your new project, you want to go to your storyboard, where of course you'll have one pre-existing default view controller. Now of course we're doing a Segway between view controllers, so we want to add a second view controller to the screen. Once you've got that in, just drag it over to the side. And now you want to add your segue between these view controllers, which is what we're going to trigger later. So, control drag from up here into your second view controller and pick the type of segue that you want. I'm just going to do a show. Final thing we want to do in the storyboard is add a button that, for this example, we're going to use to trigger our segue. And just. Now, you want to add an identifier to your Segway. Click on the Segway, go up to identify, and we're going to call this Segway. Because I'm really creative. Now you want to select your view controller, open the assistant editor, close some windows off to the side, and drag an action for that button that of course will run when the button is pressed. Uh, we're going to call this button. That's spelt wrong, but who cares? And now we want to go self, of course indicating the uh, seg the view controller, perform segue with identifier. In here you want to put the name of your segue, which of course we just called segue, and we want to make that nil. That's it. Let's run it just to check that it all works. So our app loads, we have our button. When we press our button, it runs our Segway. As you can see, everything just disappears because it's loading a new view controller over the top. But that's how easy it is to trigger a Segway programmically. And you could use this with scripts or whatever else you want.